hi guys welcome to my channel if you suffer from dry and brittle hair if your hair breaks a lot in today's video i will share with you a mask that will condition your hair strengthen your hair as well as moisturize your hair with easy to get ingredients if that's what you're interested in please watch to the end of the video hi guys for the recipe of today, we shall need a ripe avocado and some banana. I have here two bananas. I've already washed my ingredients. These are just some of the ingredients we shall use for the recipe of today. You can always customize the recipe. If your hair is as long as mine, you can go ahead and use two bananas and one avocado. But if your hair is shorter than mine, you can use one banana for this recipe. You can always customize the recipe according to your hair needs. I'll go ahead and cut, slice my avocado into pieces in order to scoop the middle part of the avocado, which we are going to use for the recipe. Avocado has a lot of benefits for hair growth as it nourishes and strengthens the hair. It smoothens the hair and boosts shine. It also prevents hair loss. Our next ingredient is banana. Banana is a natural conditioner which helps to restore shine and luster to dull and lifeless hair. It also contains minerals and vitamins that nourish and strengthen the hair strand. After slicing the banana and the avocado, I will transfer them into a blender. It's good to slice them in order to ease the blending process. I have here some sunflower oil which I will use to blend the avocado and the banana. I will, I will measure about 100 milliliters of the sunflower oil. This to ease the blending process. Guys, please use an oil to blend your ingredients and not water for a good outcome. And please always make sure to use vegetable oil in your hair recipes and not cooking oil. After the blending process, I'll go ahead and strain the ingredients. Please always make sure to strain the ingredients after blending them in order to avoid residue in your hair and scalp. Here, I'm using some light ties. You can always use a wig cap or a cheesecloth, but always make sure to strain your ingredients. So this is the quantity which I've obtained after the straining process. I'll go ahead and add in an egg. For this recipe, I'll use just an egg because I use two bananas. The next ingredient which I'll ask for this recipe is okra mask. So I have a video on the channel which I show how to make this okra mask. You just need to uh, wash your okra, you slice it, you just part, part boil it and you blend. After blending you, you strain it. Guys, adding this okra is the okra mask is optional. I decided to add it because I want to have a slip. I want the, my, my mask to be slippery and to be detangling. I will then go ahead and add in some oils. The first oil which I added is my clove hair good oil. I have the video on the channel. I also add in some honey. I add in one spoon of honey. I will then add in a teaspoon of black castor oil. I will also add in a, a teaspoon of neem oil. Neem oil is great as it treats dandruff and suits itchy scalp. I will also add in a few drops of peppermint essential oil. I'll add just about five drops. Next, I'll add in the lavender essential oil, also about five drops. I'll also add in tea tree essential oil, a few drops. After adding all the oils, I'll go ahead and mix them together with the in other ingredients so that they'll incorporate each other and have a smooth consistency. You can always use any vegetable oil of your choice and this is just the perfect consistency which i'm going in for look at that slip guys with this it's going to serve as a detangler as a nourishing my hair mask and as a strengthening mask 
After mixing all the ingredients, I'll go ahead and transfer it into a bowl. Guys, this bowl is like measuring bowl. Whenever I put a mask full into this bowl, it will go through out the whole of my hair. And our mask is ready to fit our hair. This is, it. This is the outcome of the mask. So let me show you how I apply the mask. I did a hot oil treatment. I can see how soft my hair is. I'll start by applying the mask to the length of my hair. As I always tell you in all my videos, whenever you apply the mask on the length of your hair, go ahead and massage it and you should be gentle while applying the mask on your hair. Make sure not to forget the ends of your hair because it's the oldest part of your hair and needs a lot of care. Guys, I, I, I will recommend to always uh, do a hot oil treatment before you apply your hair mask or deep conditioner. And also do a hot oil treatment before you shampoo your hair as it will leave your hair soft, it will leave your hair shiny and it will prevent uh, the shampoo from stripping your hair dry. While applying your mask or deep conditioner, do not forget to apply it on the edges of your hair. It's very important. My name is Adeline and if you are watching the video up to this moment and are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel and join the family. Let's join it together and grow our hair. Thank you. As you can see, I'm working in sections. In all my videos, you see me, I always apply my hair mask or conditioners in sections. And I always I will encourage you to do same as it reduces hair breakage. This mask is a protein mask as it contains avocado and egg. It's going to strengthen your hair. If you, if you suffer from serious hair breakage, make sure to include this mask into your hair routine as it's going to strengthen your hair. The banana is, will also help to condition your hair as well as the okra. I decided to add the okra because I wanted to add more moisture into the hair mask and also to use the mask as a detangler to enable the mask to have a great slip in order to enable me to detangle my hair. But you can go in ahead and use just your avocado, egg and banana in case you don't want to use okra it's also fine you can go ahead and use this mask once a week or whenever you feel as to do a protein treatment if you are low porosity it's recommended to do a protein treatment once in a month you do not need to overdo a protein treatment if you have low porosity whereas if you are high porosity you can always do a protein treatment twice in a month the reason for this is because high porosity hair is considered as a damaged hair and needs more of protein treatment than a low porosity hair and protein treatments are meant to strengthen the hair and repair damaged hair when you put on this treatment you can keep it Keep it on for 45 minutes or up to an hour. You then rinse your hair and continue the next step of your wash day. That is, you apply your leave-in conditioner and see in your moisture, your hair cream, your hair pomade or your hair butter. It's very important to follow the steps. You can see how detangled and how moisturized my hair is. Guys, I will encourage you to create a hair routine in order to take good care of your hair. And in order to create a hair routine, you all depend on your timetable whenever you are free and able to take care of your hair. And also, I encourage you to be consistent in your hair regimen and you see how your hair will flourish. If you are watching the video up to this moment, I appreciate it. Please like and share the video to family and friends and always ask your questions and I'll be glad to answer you. After applying my mask, I'll go ahead and put on a plastic bag. This is in order to incorporate heat into my hair so that my, the hair mask will penetrate into my hair strands. I'll keep it on for an hour. I'll then rinse my hair and follow up with the next step of my wash day. I thank you for watching the video up to this moment. I appreciate it. And as always, see you in my next one. Bye-bye.